teleport. That was going uh, better than I thought it was. I feel like most of the time when I fight bosses, I have to really change my strategy and be aware of, uh, like, distance and, you know, like, for example, with the gaping dragon, we had to really back off and time our attacks uh, pretty sparingly. But this one, it just seems like you just have to get in there and spam the buttons. Aw, Bumblebee! I'm glad you got some follows. Good. Yeah, our community's really friendly, too. Everybody here in chat is great. They make my week every week. I really appreciate them. I'm glad you guys stick around to watch me uh, suffer. In the technical Dark Souls terms, kick her ass, yeah. Aw. Deserve a bumblebee. And seriously, thank you for stopping by. I can't thank you enough. There you go, Loot Newt. Okay. I'm wondering if we can just not use a moss and just wait for this poison to stop. I'm wondering how silly that will be. get through this together with jolly cooperation. Thank you. I'm really sorry that my uh, chat is not working very well today either. I'm not really sure what's up with that. I might take a break soon just to see if we can figure it out. I don't want to waste another moss. So we're just gonna watch our bars and see what's going to end first. Exactly. Community is really supportive. I feel like the Discord is like one of the most positive places I have ever interacted and I love it because everybody just shares, you know, interesting things or their art um, or projects and I love it. It's great. Take a minute here. I should run a poll if things were working to see uh, if we think the spider will win or if we think um, I will win this time. You know, I don't know because I felt like I took a bunch of the armor off and our roll was still pretty much the same. I can check in a second. I think we'll be okay. Let's see. I'm trying to remember which one is the weight. Okay. That very last one there. Let's put on our shadow clothes again. 2.3. That's fine. 1.4. Ooh! That was close. Poison almost won. Oh, that roll is better, I think. Okay, so forget the Inquisition clothes. We'll go with this. Thanks, Beefcake. Either that or a stronger weapon with less reach. That's a good idea, too. I think this is our strongest weapon, though, by far. Let me see. 176. I don't even remember getting that, honestly. Tin Banishment Catalyst. What does that even look like? Oh. We can't wield it anyway. Let's see. We could try a longsword, but I feel like that's going to take... Oh, I forgot we had the claymore. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we can't use yet. Let's see. Um, I might go back to the claymore. That might be our best bet. That might be like a nice in-between. Oh, Catalyst is for casting. Thank you. Heck yeah. Let's try the Claymore. Good thinking, Belle. What do we have equipped? 
Like, does that count? Towards our weight? All right, let's go for it. Hey, Optus Dino, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Hope you're having a nice weekend. We're just out here fighting a spider. That was not a good start. Oh, that was a mistake. Crap. Ah. Oh. You're heading off now. It's been really educational. Wish you good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you for sticking around for so long. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a good night. Hot bar items like consumables don't count. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. I was struggling before I kept uh, hitting the wrong ones by accident. Ah, oh. oh. I didn't know it was still alive. This is gonna take a lot more hits. You struggled so much with this fight. Do you have any uh, advice? Switch back to this for now so we can just get through this area. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with the shield in the fight either, honestly, because I don't think that's gonna help us very much. So I should go two-handed. Such a weird way to get to a boss fight, too. You summoned a random? Ah, That's pretty smart. Living vicariously through your stream. <laughs> Thanks, Loot Noob. You never made it to this fight? Oh, man. Yeah, our persistence has been paying off. Uh, but I feel like we're going at a snail's pace. That's okay. Get to experience it all the same. Okay. Phew. I think it's uh, time to use that moss. I don't think we're going to make it. Alright, that looks pretty good. <laughs> Want to. Oh man, I feel like Beefcake is always looking for uh, people to play this with. I feel like you could be like a professional coach or guide. I'm sorry that Bloodborne is failing you. That really stinks. Alright, so what do we think? Should we uh, keep the Halberd or should we switch to the Claymore? I'm tempted to try two-handed with the Claymore. Just to see. So let's do that. Oh, smart. Thank you. Since I'm not going to be using it. Oh, there's no other way to handle this? You can't do two-handed? <laughs> oh, be fake. Okay. Uh, hopefully this works. I feel like it's going to take a lot more slashes, is my only, uh, concern. Mm, we'll try it. What's the worst that could happen? what I'm comfortable with. Back to the Halbred. You can tell if you're two-handed or not because both hands will be on the hilt. Oh. Gotcha. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm a creature puppet. I'm gonna go back to the Halbred and hopefully this will help us out. <laughs> Guess you're right, Luke Newt. I 
kind of reminds me very vaguely of the second boss in uh, Neo. I remember you have to go through like this whole cave system to get there, and it takes forever. And once you get to that boss, she is just so fast. You have like no time to respond. Oh, come on. Gotta run. HD, HD, thank you so much for the encouragement. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a good rest of your day. And folks who are not following HD, please give them a follow. Because his stream is a nice time too. I've been playing some Monster Hunter Rise along with a few other things. Never beaten the second boss of Neo. Right? It's That's something I want to get back to as well. Um, that is just so hard. It is so fast and like you have to build up so much stuff to get there. And then when you actually get there, you're only alive for like two seconds and that's it. You got this. Thanks. We're sizzling. Poison. I'm gonna use up all my moss. Which I don't want to do. Bloodborne is even faster. What do you mean? Like the fights? pace of the fights. Beaten it all. What a flex, Bell the Sheep. Jeez. Like dusting off a, ner a nervous cheetah. <laughs> I forgot where my water was. Just gonna give this poison a bit. <laughs> that does sound like a new doodle. She does it cute. I know this is pretty exciting, isn't it? Bell the Sheep, I wish you luck. Because <laughs> I feel like once I pass these bosses, I'm not going to go there again. They're already giving me so much pain. We're almost there. After this boss fight, there's a hidden wall? You will? Yes! <laughs> Bleep got this shirt for me. I like it. It's pretty grand. There's another one. Uh, maybe I'll wear it next time. Almost there, almost there. Maybe that's a dumb plan. I don't know. I wish there was a fire like right here, that way we didn't have to worry about it. But the game is not going to be that nice. Alright, let's go for it. For Dark Souls 3. Aww. I don't understand what to do when she like goes down like that and then there's it almost feels like a death scream or something. I don't know what that is. We were getting some pretty solid hits in there though. I feel pretty good about that. What? The dancer. Is that from Dark Souls 3? Will I not have to worry about that for a while? Okay, so I'm guessing maybe when I see her go down like that, I should just back up. That's my only guess. Come 
on fire placement is much more friendly. Oh. Or are you being sarcastic? I can never tell. When it comes to Dark Souls stuff. But I hope that what you're saying is true. twice back away to watch reactions? Oh. That'd probably be smart. I'm gonna- oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm gonna use moss. Eh, worked out the same way anyway. Dancers from Dark Souls 3, they use music theory to disrupt when you think you should dodge? Wow. No, Spell the Sheep, we are not going to do a level 1 run. Loot Newton Beefcake are welcome to do that if they want. Hobago was doing a run like that a few weeks ago. I don't know how far he got, but he finished something that took me like two hours in the span of 20 minutes. Spiders a bad rep. Stupid. I did it again. Oh my god. That was even worse. Uh. Throughout the entire game of Dark Souls 3, there's a rhythm of being attacked in a certain speed and then dodging at a certain time. The dancers' music and their attack style is directly chaotic to the rhythm you're used to in the game. That's a pretty interesting game design, though. Wait till you meet her sister. She has a sister? I don't want to meet the family. I'm gonna run out of moss. Wish there was an easier way to get through here. <laughs> oh, obtuse. I love uh, those emotes. They're great. Ah, oh, this poison meter fills up so fast, I was hoping to run back and not be poisoned. But here we are. I do want to know why this uh, fight is sad. I do. I don't want to meet the family. <laughs> I don't want to. Out of curiosity, since I can't see it, is the uh, emote wall working? Like, are your emotes popping up on the game screen? Or no? I'm just curious as to how much the stream is actually broken. What? All the story? Okay. Hmm. I don't know why the other stuff's not working then, like the chat commands. It's strange. Protecting your sister who's gone crazy. They were normal girls who got bonded to the demon spiders. Oh no. And here we are murdering them. That's not good. That's not fun. Now I'm sad. It's a mercy to free them by your blade. I guess so. We're just gonna wait for these, uh, meters, I guess? Looked at the wiki to double check. 
getting those Dark Souls facts right. Stretch, thank you. Should probably do that before this uh, fight. Awesome translation. Not too sure what you mean. I feel like one of these days I'm going to stretch and something is going to crack super loud. Because I usually crack a lot. Okay. Poison's almost done. So is our health bar. Hmm. Loot Newt. That's an interesting point. I feel like uh, the Elder Scrolls series tries to tell a lot through the things that you can pick up in the game, but it is much more narratively based otherwise. She's Fair Lady's older sister when their mother, the Witch of Izalith, or Izalith, along with their other two sisters, became the Bed of Chaos. She fled with her sister. Although her sanity is intact, their lower bodies became bound with demon spiders. When her sister became weakened and blind, Quelag remained in Blight Town to protect her from anyone or anything that would try to harm her. And then here we are. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. Newt, that's very true. No one's ever the villain in their stories. She kills the undead to claim their humanity to heal her sister. Oh. Interesting. I'm so sorry this is taking us so long. I feel bad. I know we'll get through it, but... I can take up this roll. Uh, I'm wondering... Maybe it would help if uh, I kept some distance when she starts that area of effect thing. I don't know, I keep calling it a scream, but I don't know if that's what it actually is. Right. Replace the one you're killing. Listen, I don't want to be in Blight Town forever. This is not the place to be game gets nicer after this? That's... that's good. Where's our bell? That's what we're here for. I don't want to miss it. It's true. No one can predict the consequences of your good intentions. It's very true. Even if you feel like you have good intent, um, it may not be received that way. And there's always multiple perspectives to, you know, an event or something that's experienced. Should we just go in there while we're sizzling anyway? How dare you take so long in a game that is notoriously hard and long and difficult? How dare you have to figure out how to beat a boss that is intended to be that way? You should instinctively and automatically beat this boss on the first try, having never seen it before. <laughs> That's right, Belle. Those are my expectations. I'm just kidding. You like that there's storylines based on your actions in this game? 
did not know that. I'm a villain in my story when I stay very late in the evening and I need to get up early. I really hate the guy from yesterday. Pod, that is such a familiar feeling. You gonna do... make some lunch? Play Monster Hunter? Have fun, Loot Newt. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for joining us today. Super appreciate it. And again, those who aren't following Loot Newt, please give him a follow. He's playing some Assassin's Creed. Uh, played D&D with us on Pop Talk stream, which was great. Okay, we're almost there. Some of what you do and who you talk to may kill people ap- uh... Wait. Some of what you do and who you talk to may kill people on the world while it may save others. I gotcha. Okay. Let's go for it. Too soon. <sighs> Very rad and patches. Is that a reference I'm supposed to know? Trusty patches. to try to reduce my poison. Oh, well now it's not going to come after me. What gives? I was going to try to wait for this thing to come to us. Come on. There we go. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll try. We lost some health. That's great. Is the hyena, the trustworthy, the spider, the unbreakable. <laughs> Something to look forward to then. What was I thinking? I'm still probably going to get poisoned. Well, let's see. Maybe if I'm smart about it. It builds up so quickly. Here. We're gonna get poisoned. That oh, was worth giving it a shot. Shoot. That's frustrating.
Aina and Spider from Demon Souls and Bloodborne, respectively. Okay, so not this game. I'm gonna use the moss. It's a shame, we only have one left. But I don't want to wait. I have this and I drop the controller on the floor. Uh, give me a second. Alright, I think I'm just gonna take um, a break. This one's gonna be a little bit longer, so just bear with me. I want to see if I can figure out what's going on with the uh, bot and also just to give myself a second. So if you don't mind, I'll be back as quick as I can. We're back. Hopefully that wasn't too long. Interesting. Some interesting lore. I have returned. Yes, it's been getting a little bit frustrating. Um, we're down to our last moth to reduce our poison. We've been fighting the spider plenty of times. Um, but we shall still try. How's it going, Jora Inferno? Oh gosh, that is a uh, long doodle request. Let me see. Wisdo from Dragon Hunters and a pose from photo you just sent on Discord, but with nothing. Sandwich on his right. Signed contract in his left hand and steampunk iframes in the back. <laughs> um, that's a doozy. We'll probably do it after this uh, next death, I'm sure. I have to look up who that is haven't played Monster Hunter in a very long time. Have you been playing uh, Monster Hunter Rise? I feel like that's going to take the, le the rest of the stream to finish. run past him. Trying to avoid poison. Can't break them. No, we're gonna get poisoned again. Darn it. I was really hoping we could avoid that. Dragon hunters, okay. Hmm. Lore is lost in translation a lot, especially in Dark Souls 2. Poor translation poor translation companies for that game. Or no, four, I see what you're saying. Can't read. Maybe we can draw now while we're waiting for the uh, poison to stout. I have to look up this character, though. Oh no, you sent a picture, that's right. I forgot. Oh. And pose from the photo you just sent. But with... Nothing. 
A nothing sandwich. Okay. Okay. Signed contract and slept in steampunk iframes in the back. We can definitely give this a shot. Let's see. I'm keeping an eye on the uh, poison. Can you see it okay from there? So this is the uh, picture for reference. <laughs> uh, I guess so. Hmm. It's gonna be a tough one, Pod. You definitely gave me a tough one. Move that up a little bit for you. Sorry, it's just waiting for the poison. Okay. Nothing sandwich on his right. Signed contract in his left hand. Hmm, okay. How big is his body? It doesn't seem very big. Let's see. I'm hearing some noises behind us, and that spooks me a little bit. to look at um, another picture of him because I don't know how the rest of his outfit goes. Oh. He has longer legs than I thought. So is this a pretty popular show? about. See, he's got like a fingerless glove on this hand, so that might make pose a little bit easier. Yeah, let's see.
I'm not sure what you mean by the, uh... Like, instead of the goggles on his, uh... Helmet, do you want them to be our... Eye frames? Two heroes were fighting the strange dragons. Wisdo made contracts with frightened villagers and the other was a muscle. <laughs> interesting. It's an interesting uh, concept for a show. See that other picture again? Optional iframes could be in the back instead of his glasses. <sighs> I'm not sure what you mean with the back, like a backpack? If you explain that a little bit to me, I'll be able to do it. Also, I think this is your first uh, doodle request. I'm surprised. Oh, apart from. Okay, okay. Can he be wearing them? Because right now he's not wearing any. Ah, beefcake, thanks a lot. That's really sweet. I don't even know what to say to that. Thanks so much. Oh, you imagine him sleeping? Sorry, I didn't know if you meant that pose in particular. <laughs> I guess I should read more carefully. Um. Hmm. I guess I could, uh, put a pillow behind him. <laughs> to show that he's sleeping. Oh, it's too dark. No, we thank you. Ah, Too sweet. Too, too sweet. Well, I'm glad it can give you happiness. Because that's what I aim for. Streaming and hanging out here makes me happy. Oh, I forgot to draw the sandwich. I am not on a roll today.
I'll make a sandwich in just a second. Go back to the clothing layer. Let me erase the eyes, because he's supposed to be sleeping. I had a dispute about what is the difference between one lasagna and multiple lasagnas above one another. One conclusion was that a lasagna baked from different dough is nothing... is nothing lasagna? Alright, Joe, thanks a lot. Um, Pod, that sounds very similar to the debate that uh, Perseus Lad has on his channel. <laughs> that if you baked two lasagnas separately and stacked them on top of each other, would it make one lasagna or two? Okay, so you said a nothing sandwich made from of white bread and a piece of black bread. So I'm going to try my best here. Oh, beefcake. I know, those arguments. So I'm raising that part to show his hand. Uh, hopefully that's what you're looking for. You're not doing drunk souls? Yeah. Ha. Huh. Yes, we did have that uh, debate. I wasn't sure if that was what you were referencing. Um, let's see. So... Oops. There's his pillow. <laughs> Is this doing justice for what you were looking for? I'm going to put the, uh... No, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just not sure if I'm doing it right. And the, uh... I want to put the frames on his face, like as if he... Oh! <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Like as if he, uh... fell asleep with them on. I'm just trying out this new, uh... technology.
have to make them look more, uh... tech-oriented. <laughs> going to add these uh, small receivers on the... Okay. And then on the same layer that we have our pillow, which is way down here. Make a mattress shape. didn't color in the contract. There we are. Does that do you justice? Oh, red color? Sure. Let's see. I'm going to do a little star here, some fancy script, and there we are. Thanks so much. All right. Let us get back to the game. <laughs>